Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on uh, transformation of metrics and uh, matrices. Uh, this is an IGCSE uh, question and also I think it should be suitable for A level mathematics and for 11th grade algebra. Uh, this is the 12th in my, in my series on transformation and uh, matrices. Now, uh, this is certainly not uh, a GCSE um, type question. This is certainly a GCSE um, and A level uh, type question here. Okay, so what we've got, we've got this question here, and the question itself carries 11 marks out of 11. Uh, there, are, there are 11 questions in the, in the, in the paper, and uh, this question itself carries 11 marks. Right, so we've got this graph here uh, given to us. Graph paper, and they say the points A uh, minus one one and B minus five one and C minus three three are the vertices of a triangle. And then it says uh, on the graph paper draw a level triangle ABC. And then it goes on to say uh, calculate the matrix product P uh, P is equal to one zero zero three. And the vertices of the triangle, which is uh, minus one, one, minus five, one, and minus three, three. And then moving on, and it says, uh, draw a label uh, triangle, A prime, B prime, C prime, which we are A prime, B prime, C prime, are respectively the images of the points A, B, and C on the transformation represented by the matrix B. And then uh, D is this one here. And it says, uh, you got a, you got a matrix, we've got the transformation matrix Q, uh, zero minus one, one third zero. I said draw a label uh, triangle A prime prime B prime prime C prime prime. We have A prime prime B prime prime C prime prime. Uh, respectively, the images of the points A prime B prime and C prime under the transformation represented by the matrix Q. And the fifth one says describe fully the single transformation which maps a triangle ABC onto triangle A prime prime B prime and C prime prime. And the last one says. Find the matrix which represents this transformation. Wow. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. I'm going to move on to the next next slide now. Okay. Now here we go. Uh, again, the question the, the question the question has given to us. We've got to draw the, the, the triangle will be minus one one uh, minus five one and C is minus three three. Uh, these are the vertices of a triangle, and then it says. Uh, on the graph paper, draw and label ABC, triangle ABC. So that's the first one, and for that you get one mark, uh, A, B, and C there. Okay, uh, I do apologize for the positioning of C there. Uh, I should explain why, because the next triangle is going to be somewhere this line here. So I could put C up there. Okay, I, I, do, apologize. I do apologize for that. Okay, now next one. Uh, it says uh, calculate the matrix product. Uh, so we've got to multiply the transformation matrix here, 1003, by the matrix given to us by the vertices of the triangle. Okay, and I've got that, and I got that one there. Now note here that I'm applying a 2 by 2 matrix multiplied by a 2 by 3 matrix. It wouldn't work the other way around. I couldn't do a 2 by 3 times 2 by 2 matrix. That wouldn't work. So I'm doing a 2 by 2 matrix multiplied by a 2 by 3 matrix. Okay. Now, I should try and explain what sort of transformation you get from this here. Now, uh, we then get something like this. I should, explain how, I should explain how I got this now. Okay. Now, what I've done here is you multiply 1 by minus 1. That will give you minus 1. And 0 times 1 will give me 0. Now minus 1 plus 0 will give me minus 1. And hence minus 1 there. Similarly, 1 times minus 5 will give me minus 5. 0 times 1 will give me 0. So minus 5 plus 0 will give me minus 5. And hence minus 5 there. Moving on. 1 times minus 3 will give you minus 3. 0 times 2 will give me 0. So minus 3 plus 0 will give you minus 3. 
and hence minus 3 there. Now note here that these, the x values of the next triangle, or the image if you like, are the same as the x values of the object, the original triangle ABC there. So that does suggest to me that we should expect uh, transformation by stretch with the x-axis being invariant. Okay. So, right. Now, similarly, to get the y values for the new triangle, if we do 0 times minus 1, we'll give minus 1. 3 times 1 will give me 3. And then 0 plus, sorry, 0 plus 3 will give me 3. So, hence 3 there. Again, 0 times minus 5 will give, minus, will give me 0. 3 times 1 will give me 3. 3 plus 0 will give me 3. Now, 0 times minus 3 will give me 0. 3 times 3 will give me 9. And 9 plus 0 will give me 9. So, our new triangle will have the vertices minus 1, 3, and minus 5, 3, and, and minus 3, 3. So anyway, this is what you're supposed to find from uh, uh, part B. So we've done a modification now. And then part C says, uh, draw a level triangle A prime B prime C prime, A prime B prime C, and it are respectively the images of the points of A, B, and C under the transformation represented by the matrix P. So we've now transformed triangle A, B, C using this transformation matrix to give us this now. We don't have to draw this triangle. Okay? So that is what we got. And now that's A, and that's A prime, B prime, and that's C prime there. We now join uh, B prime to C prime and A prime to C prime. Now, if we do some calculation, the area of this triangle is 12. The area of the original triangle of the object is 4. If you divide 12 by 4, you get 3. Hence, the 3 there. So, triangle A prime, B prime, C prime has been transformed. Sorry, triangle, triangle A prime. BC has been transformed by a search factor of 3 with the invariant line being on the x axis. So that's the x axis of the invariant line. So ABC has been transformed by stretch to give us A prime B prime C prime. And the stretch factor is 3. The invariant line is the x axis. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Right. Now, for D, and it says, draw a level triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, where A prime, B prime is added, the, uh, the images of the points A prime, B prime, C prime. So now, we have to try and transform this triangle using this matrix here. And this is what you got. So now I'm going to do this is a Q. Uh, transformation matrix and this is the matrix for A prime, B prime, C prime then. Again, I'm going to carry out the same sort of multiplication as I did before. So I'm going to have a 2 by 2 matrix multiplied by 2 by 3 matrix there. Uh, we got the answer uh, 111533. So these 11 15 1, 3, 3, are the uh, the coordinates of the vertices of the new uh, triangle formed by uh, the transformation matrix uh, Q. So now we have to draw this triangle 411533. So that is that's our A prime prime and B prime prime joined, and then this is our C prime prime jump back to B prime, prime prime and the A prime prime. So this is now our triangle. 
hope that makes some sense. Okay, for the last slide, you'll be glad to know. And uh, this is E here. It says, uh, uh, describe fully the single transformation which maps triangle ABC, which is the original triangle we started up off with, which maps, maps triangle ABC onto triangle A prime prime, B prime prime, C prime prime. In other words, we're trying to um, explain how we got from this triangle to that triangle. Now, clearly, you can have a guess what's happened here. All right. Now, purely by guesswork, if you draw a, 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 if you draw an angle formed by the red A, the origin, and A prime prime. So, in fact, look at this angle here. From there to there. To there. To there. As we got there. So that that angle there. So that angle there is 90 degrees. Okay. Now similarly, if you did that one from from B to the origin. From the origin to B prime prime, that angle will also be 90 degrees. And if you did set, if, if you carry that make a size for C, for the red C and the C prime prime, you also get 90 degrees. So in effect, what's happened is that triangle ABC has been transformed to triangle A prime prime, B prime prime, and C prime prime by rotation 90 degrees clockwise with the center of rotation at the origin there. You can also say that we've transformed triangle ABC anti-clockwise 270 degrees with the center of rotation at the origin. So that's the answer for that one. For the last one, it says find the matrix which which represents this transformation. Now, what you do there, there are two ways of doing this. Um, you multiply the last known transformation matrix by the original transformation matrix. In this case, you multiply Q by P, so that's a Q, and that's a P. Now, if you did the multiplication, you should get one zero minus one one zero there. Okay, as we did before. Okay, I hope that makes some sense. So that should give you zero minus one 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 zero zero. And this matrix here is the matrix for uh, rotation uh, by ninety degrees clockwise with the center of rotation at the origin or zero zero. Now, as I said earlier, there's another way of doing this of of finding this. Uh, this metrics, but uh, I should do that in my next video. Now, I hope all that made some sense. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.